Here is a word problem that deals with systems of equations. I pushed pause on the video so you can read the problem and thoroughly get an understanding for it right now. Then after you're all finished, hit play again. What happened is, they gave you information such as you had roses and you knew the roses cost $12. Then you had carnations. And the carnations cost $5. And then you spent a total of $99. Well, with a system of equations, you're basically wanting to use x, y, and then make it equal some grand total. Now, where's the other equation? Well, they did give us another piece of information that we could use. They said that we bought a total of 10 dozen, even though that's not an actual money price, it's a total, so a total will go on the other side of the equals. And then you'd say, well, they didn't give us any more x and they didn't give us any more y values in the word equation. Well, that's not necessarily true. I mean, as long as you add x and y together, they would equal 10. So there's your system of equations. You have 12x plus 5y equals 99, and x plus y equals 10. Since you're trying to find out how many dozen of roses she bought, you're trying to eliminate y, and then you solve for x. That's how you'd approach a word problem like this. So, let's make it more feasible, more useful for us. And we'll do this by changing the value of x and y and multiplying it by negative 5. Twelve x plus five y equals ninety nine, negative five x, negative five y, and negative fifty. Okay. Add your two terms together. You're gonna get seven x equals forty nine, therefore x equals seven, and you can clearly say that she bought seven dozen roses.